Hello everyone and welcome to episode 47 of our game dev tutorials. Um, today we're going to do full screen. Uh, lots of questions on full screen. Um, and I had to go through it to figure out why and it took me way longer than I think it should have actually. Um, so this will be a relatively quick video. Uh, I want to keep it very to the point since there's a lot of questions on full screen. So um, yeah. It's uh, there's a couple mono game things to add to make it work more so the way you're expecting it to. Um, yeah. Uh, but before we get there, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit like. That make sure and make sure you subscribe, comment, do all those things because it will tell YouTube to show more people the video. And the more people we get around, the the better ideas we're gonna have and the uh, the better community we're gonna have. Um, so. You know, please do those things and uh, consider Patreon if I'm helping you out in any kind of professional way. And uh, if you don't want to do Patreon, consider checking out some of my games. You can find them on Steam. Just search Battle and Entertainment, and and you'll find them. There's also links down below. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, also, guys, I'm sorry it's been two weeks. I know I missed last week. I'm doing my best to get back to one a week. Uh, the uh, new game, Guilds of Delinar, is definitely <laughs> uh, taking up a lot of, of my time, and I'm, I'm, I am trying to get back to committing to one a week, um, so hopefully this will get you started there. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to link the options uh, to the full screen, so we have the option to go full screen or not full screen, um, so we're going to do that. Then we are going to add in the mono game stuff, and we're going to test it. All right, so first things first, um, we have our apply options here, right? Which we put in in a previous video. Um, we're going to add uh, some code to swap between full screen or not. We're gonna do it in another function just in case you wanna do it without applying options, So, which, which you, you will wanna do. Public void uh, set full screen. Helpful if I can type, of course. Um, all right, so in here, we are going to be testing our options to uh, to check for the full screenness. Um, we're also going to put that in right there, right at the end. We're going to test for the full screen. So how do we get something out? Well, we get it out right here. So we have that. We're going to copy paste it down. Um, this is full screen, I think, with a space in it. But you know what? Let's just go look. Uh, go to definition scroll up there it is full screen so this is just in the options menu right okay not nothing crazy here um, so we're just gonna pull that option out um, this is why we went ahead and did all that work on the options to make sure the options was nice and usable was so that we could make it so simple um, okay so now we need to test that to find out if we're supposed to be full screened or not. So if, and then of course the else will be the not. So um, here we're gonna we're gonna have to convert this because this is just gonna have a, an object in it. We're gonna have to convert that to an int. So we do that by saying convert to int thirty two, and then uh, this is. This shouldn't be music volume anymore. It should be full screen option. Oh, P T I N. Okay. Um, and then so here is full screen, screen option value, and then here we'll have globals dot um, culture. Uh, I answered what that was recently. Um, I think in the last video. So if you're if you need a better explanation of culture, check out the previous video. Um, but basically it just, the, what we're using it for is converting the numerical systems to use commas and decimals in the, uh, American English fashion. Um, you can use whatever you want, but that, but they need to be standardized because your code's going to need it that way. Okay. Um, so here we're going to say graphics. Now graphics is just a thing in mono game and I'll show you that in just a second. 
is full screen equals true. So uh, if it's one, it's true. If it's not, it's false. Okay, and then the last thing you need to do is say graphics dot apply changes. Now let's go take a look at graphics. This is just gonna make it, everything you did, it says, okay, go do it. Um, yeah, so what is graphics? Well, graphics is up here and it's literally a graphics manager. Um, and this is all, this is mono game, right? Um, people ask all the time, what do I use Mino game for? Well, specifically for this graphics class and for this content class. That's it. That's all I really use in Mono game. Uh, maybe there's a couple things, but I don't really, re oh, uh, vector two, uh, but you could build your own vector two. It wouldn't take hardly 10 minutes. Um, and texture 2d. Yeah, that's about it. That's, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. I'm sure there's a little bit of things, but essentially they are things that facilitate drawing to the screen. That's what I use mono game for uh, everything else. That's stuff I do. So what exactly is graphics manager? It just deals with drawing things to the screen. Uh, content deals with loading, loading things in. So drawing loading, right? That's it. Um, do, I, do you have access to the code in there? Kind of, sort of, not really. Um, you do through Mono Game. It is open source. You can get a fork out of it. You can edit it. You can. But do you have edit, access to it here? No, you don't. So um, you can't just like if I go to it, right? Go to definition. Boom. It doesn't tell you what's in it. It just tells you the uh, functions and what variables are in there. Um, so. Not super important, but that's what that is. Okay. Now, I mentioned that there was something mono game related that needed to be added. Um, and there is. So this is, I think, where people are having issues. And uh, I actually had a hard time finding this in my code. So uh, I'm putting it in a much nicer place from now on to find. Uh, but I did this full screen stuff like five years ago or something like that, and I just couldn't remember how to do it. And I apologize, guys, for when I was asked these questions, to those of you that were asking, that I did not have the answer. This seems to be what is stopping the weird behavior here that some of you guys are uh, experiencing. If you guys want to experience that behavior, come put this line out, run it, and you'll see, okay? Um, so, uh, a couple other things we need to do before we test it is uh, options menu. We want to move this up as high as we can. Um, and as high as we can happens to be directly under content. And then save needs to be directly over top of it. So, um, and that's because options won't load without the save file. And you'll there's, there's a line in there that needs it. Okay. Um, so now when we run it, we would be expecting to see uh, the... Um, boy, I can't even think. The full screen game. Now, um, right now it will only open in my f other monitor. So I'm going to have to change which monitor I'm recording. I didn't even think about that. Give me a sec. Okay. All right. So let, we're ready to run it now. I switched over. Uh, I didn't think about that until right now. But we're going to run it, and we should get our game. Oh. I have to make one other change that I forgot to do. But now we're in full screen. Alt tabbing is where the issue people were having was. This is all pixely because it's not set to the right resolution. We'll deal with that another time. Um, but alt tabbing has worked now, and I can come back to the game. So people were having trouble with that. The game was doing some really funky stuff. Um or their games were doing some really funky stuff and this that one line is what solves it so now we have to uh, add that one other line and that is uh, set full screen right here 
Okay, so we need to have options loaded before we can set full screen. I don't know why I didn't put that in, but I didn't, so. All right, let's run it, and now we start the game full screened. Um, okay, guys, uh, if you have liked this video, make sure that you hit that like button. It really does help me out. Um, subscribe, ring the notification bell, um, and even if you're not ready to watch the newest videos, if you can view them and hit a like for them when they come out, that would be really helpful to the channel. Um, yeah, so consider doing that as well. Uh, and then you can watch them in full when you get there. Um, yeah, so this is how you do full screen. Uh, I really hope it's been helpful. I hope that uh, you guys will uh, be able to implement it in your games now. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time, um, which should be next week. All right, y'all. Have a good one.